Oh, right there. I'm about to pull the thing out of the water. I was like, wow, got him. Look at that, you guys. Little Mayan cichlid. You've been asking for a catch cleaning cook. Today you're getting one. Oh. Except not with him. water in this while brine. So if you just have ice and you throw the fish on top of the ice, they just lay there on the cubes and it really doesn't cool them down properly. But if you make a slurry, what happens is they go in and that ice cold water completely submerges them, drops their core temperature, and that is what you want. Let's go fishing. So this is so much fun. It's a windy day. We just came out here to catch these tilapia and cichlids. All you gotta use, little spinning reel. That's a favorite spinning reel with a little light action, favorite spinning rod. A lot of you guys have been asking about them. These little beetle spins are amazing. That is one of the most versatile little lures you'll ever use. All you gotta do is throw it out, reel it in. Look at the otter right there. guys so we've caught one little cichlid but we just got to see an otter literally he, that's a big swamp back there to the west and he wanted to come across and get into this canal he's probably hunting for the same thing we're fishing for but when you're out here in the wild and you see wildlife like that that's what makes it all so memorable it's not just about catching fish but it's about seeing everything Literally, we've been fishing our butts off out here trying to catch these things, and the wind is really, really, really hurting us. That's exactly what I came after. Check this out, y'all. Oh, oh, and he fell in the dirt. Are you kidding me? Pretty fish. That right there, I was calling him an Oscar or a tilapia, but what that is, is a Mayan cichlid. Pretty fish, going on ice. Now watch, watch in here. You'll get submerged right down in that ice. Let's see if we can repeat that. Another one, but he looks like he's a little too small. Oh, an alligator just jumped in the hole right there. There's just an alligator. Oh, look at the alligator right there. With the wind and the water being up, all the fish are deeper. So I'm throwing it out, letting it sink down to the bottom and sort of working it close to the bottom. It doesn't matter if you're catching Mayan cichlid or blue marlin. You gotta figure out what they want and how they want it presented. This is my favorite uh, Austin Powers look.
Ooh, nice one, nice one, nice one. I got a very good idea, y'all. Let's roll. If you want fresh vegetables, you gotta pick them fast. Ah, that'll be enough. This is Joey's garden. Every year, Joey grows all kinds of stuff. Okra, collards, peppers, beans, you name it. That dude's awesome. This blue windbreaker I'm wearing is made by Frog Togs. A lot, of, a lot of people think Frog Togs just makes like cheap rainwear. Frog Togs is a super cool company owned by a super cool guy, Will Fowler, good friend of mine. I know, every, I know a lot of people at Frog Togs and they told me to tell y'all, if you go to frogtogs.com, use promo code DEERMEAT20, all capitals, DEERMEAT20, all in one word, you get 20% off your entire order and free shipping, which is pretty cool. That's a really substantial deal. Most important part, when you're filleting a fish, have a sharp knife. Touch up my blade. I mean, literally. Go to 800, little leather, put some buffing compound on it. Always keep that same angle. She's sharp. Never done one of these before, but like that old country song, there's a first time for everything. Nice, they got a big solid head. Let's see what this sucker looks like. Pretty hardy scales. Filet in small fish like this, I really love this woods and water knife. It's got a little rounded tip on it and does a great job. I've never filleted one of these, so I'm feeling my way through it. Beautiful meat. Look at that. That is pretty, y'all. Anytime it's your first time filleting a, a certain fish, just go a little slower and pay attention to the bone structure. Oh, look at that. Tickled. I mean, there's like no bloodline. This is this fish may be one of my, and this is huge shock. Look at that. Hard to find a fish any prettier than that. Come here. Don't chase that ball till your arm breaks. Look at that nice, pretty fish. So I've never cooked these before. They look beautiful. I'm just going to use a little original. Pretty. We're going to go super light. Just a touch of touch of olive oil. A little bit of butter. Little plays like that will not take long. Yeah, boy. Drop it. Go get it, Marlo. Go get it. Marlo, like, why am I going to go get it when he'll go get it and bring it back to me? Just a little bit of lemon. Not a lot. Put these jokers over. So 
just like that, these jokers are done. Take them out of there. Now watch this. Now we're going to really have some fun. Let's deglaze the pan with a little lemon. Lemon. Just take it off the heat. Beautiful little white wine lemon butter sauce. It'll extract all the flavor from the pan. Mm, so good. Take some of that fish, just like that. Little spoonful of this sauce. Woo! Mayan cichlid. First time I've ever cleaned it or cooked it. Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this food. I thank you for all my many blessings. Lord, I thank you for everything. Please be with us, guide us, keep us safe. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all. Let's try it out. Doesn't even taste like freshwater fish. It tastes like it tastes like a snapper. Super mild. Wow. As you can see, I made. I've got sun-dried caramel apple chips and some fresh fruit, strawberry, with a little sauce on it. Summertime is on the way, y'all. Get out there, go fishing, have a good time. And hey, don't be scared. Throw some fish on ice, bring them home, clean them up, make you a nice meal. That's what it's all about. Hope you enjoyed it. Mind cichlid. First time for everything. That's all we got for you. We gone.